welcome dear children to our next video subject maths today we'll discuss our next topic of chapter 3 that is integers the topic name is addition and subtraction of integers children be ready with your textbooks in your hand let's begin children now let's recall about integers now what is the meaning of integers as we have done in our previous video here you all can see negative numbers zero as well as the natural numbers this three groups of numbers together form a group of integers this integers we can also show on a number line as shown here below the positive integers are shown on the right hand side zero is called as the origin negative integers are shown on the left hand side okay children now let's start our next topic addition of integers now let's start with an activity as you all can see on your screen as well as in your textbook a rabbit's rabbits is to be shown on a number line activity first you all can see the number line the rabbit's position is at plus 1 the arrow mark is shown towards the right hand side from plus 1 the rabbit is hopping to number plus 6 now at first what rabbit was at the number it was at plus 1 so in the first box you all will write plus 1 now how many units it is hopping now you have to count after plus 1 so after plus 1 from 2 if you are counting plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 so five units so from plus 1 rabbit is hopping five units to the right right hand side as you all can see the arrow mark and the rabbit's face is facing the right hand side so in the second box you will be writing 5 now after hopping 5 units at what position it is reaching that is plus 6 so in the third box you have to write plus 6 now let's discuss the second activity in ag again the rabbit is shown here it is at position minus 2 from minus 2 Again, it is hopping towards the right hand side. You all can see the face of the rabbit and the arrow mark. It is facing the right hand side. Now, first, is it? It is at minus two. So, in the first box, you will be writing minus two. Now, how many places it is hopping? From minus two, you have to count minus one, zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, five units. so it is hopping five units to the right after hopping at what place it is reaching yes it is reaching at position plus 3 okay children hope you all have got it now will now you all can see in the numerical form it is written down plus 1 plus plus 5 why it is written plus 5 because it is moving towards the right hand side again down it is written as plus 5 why plus 5 because it is moving towards the right hand side now let's see the other activity now before seeing take this important point to add a positive number to a given number we move that many units to the right on the number line from the given number if we want to add a positive number अगर हमको पॉजिटिव नंबर ऐड करना है किसी नंबर को तो हम वो नंबर को उसकी राइट साइड में नंबर लाइन पे दिखाएंगे ओके चिल्ड्रन नाउ लेट सी फर्दर नाउ सी द फर्स्ट पिक्चर यू ऑल कैन सी द रैबिट इज एट द पोजीशन ऑफ माइनस थ्री नाउ यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस 
rabbit is facing to the left hand side means it is ready to hop towards the left hand side so from minus 3 it will be hopping now at first the rabbit was at the number minus 3 i have written there how many units it is hopping minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 so it is hopping four units to the left here what's the difference it is hopping towards the left hand side after hopping at what place it is reaching yes it is reaching on the place of number minus 7 so here you all can see minus 3 plus minus 4 why minus 4 because it is moving to the left hand side previously we have written plus 5 because it was hopping towards the right hand side here we are adding a negative number now the second activity last activity we can see here here you can see rabbit's position is at plus 3 and again it is facing the left hand side so from plus 3 it will be hopping towards the left hand side so in the first box it is written plus 3 how many units it will be hopping plus 2 plus 1 0 and minus 1 again it is hopping four units towards the left hand side after hopping four units towards the left hand side it will be reaching at the number minus 1 so here plus 3 Plus minus four. Why minus four? Because it is moving or it is hopping towards the left hand side. You, I hope you all have got the difference. How to add a positive number and how, why you why we are adding a positive number and why we are adding a negative number. You all got it, children. Now let's move further. See this rule you have to keep in mind. when you are adding integers if both the numbers are positive your answer will always be a positive number and if the both the numbers are negative your answer will always be a negative number in the third situation if the bigger number is having positive sign and smaller number is having negative sign the so the answer will be a positive number the last you can see if the bigger number is having a minus sign the smaller number is having a plus sign so your answer will be the minus means you have to put the sign of the bigger number both plus then no issue both minus then no issue but if you are if one number is plus one is minus at that time you have to keep in mind the sign of the bigger number now let's see the examples see i have i have solved some examples Take a look. Plus two, plus plus five. Here both the numbers are positive. Both you have to add five plus two seven. So answer is positive. The second example. Both the numbers are negative. So again you have to add five plus two seven. You have to keep in mind, children. If both numbers are negative and both numbers are positive, in both the situations you have to add. Don't think that it's given minus sign, so we have to subtract. No, here both the integers are having minus sign, so you have to add five plus two is seven. And as both the numbers are having subtraction sign, minus sign, your answer will be a minus number. Third one, plus two and minus five. Now think in your mind. Two is smaller number, five is bigger number, so you have to keep one thing in mind. If One is positive, one is negative. You have to subtract here. जब आपको एक नंबर प्लस और एक नंबर माइनस दिया होगा वहां आपको सब्रैक्शन करना है फाइव प्लस टू नहीं करना है यू हैव टू सब्रैक्ट यर फाइव माइनस टू फाइव माइनस टू इज थ्री एंड द साइन ऑफ द बिगर नंबर विच इज द बिगर नंबर फाइव सो इट साइन इज माइनस सो यू आंसर विल बी माइनस थ्री This is the very important point you have to keep in your mind. Now, last example. Here again, minus two is given and plus five. The same situation here, but there is a slight difference that a bigger number is having the plus sign, and smaller number is having the minus sign. So here, as I told you, if one integer is minus, one is plus, what you will do? Yes, you will sub. You will take the subtraction operation. 
फाइव माइनस टू इज थ्री बट वॉट विल बी द साइन ईयर प्लस वाई प्लस बिकॉज फाइव इज अ बिगर नंबर एंड फाइव इज एविंग द प्लस साइन सो ईयर आई हैव सॉल्व द फॉर एग्जाम्पल्स होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड ओके चिल्ड्रेन नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ऑपोजिट नंबर्स now see what's the meaning of opposite numbers you can see the number line on your screen opposite numbers are the same distance are at the same distance from zero see you have shown here about number 5 from zero it is 5 units on the right hand side and minus 5 is again 5 units away from zero so both the numbers are opposite of each other in the same way we can say minus 1 is opposite of 1 Minus six is oppos opposite of six. Seven is opposite of minus seven. Eight is opposite of minus eight. So both numbers are op. Each number is a each positive. Same number is opposite of each. And one thing you have to keep in mind: the opposite of zero is only zero. Yeah, no sign. Now next thing is comparing integers. Now, children, this word must be familiar. Now, what's the meaning of comparing? Comparing means we have to see that which number is bigger and which is smaller. Now, on a number line, every number is greater than the number on its immediate left by one. Number line पे जो number होगा, आप कोई भी एक number choose करोगे. उसके left में जो number होगा, उससे वो बड़ा ही होगा. That you have to keep in mind. कोई भी नंबर लाइन पे आप एक नंबर चूज करोगे तो वो नंबर क्या होगा अपने लेफ्ट में जो नंबर होगा उससे ग्रेटर होगा बाय वन बाय वन प्लेस एंड यू कीप इन माइंड वन मोर थिंग एवरी नेगेटिव नंबर इज ऑलवेज स्मॉलर देन अ पॉजिटिव नंबर एज वेल एज जीरो आल्सो जीरो इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन अ नेगेटिव नंबर दिस इज द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग यू टू कीप इन माइंड See the example, children. See here, four is greater than minus three. Four is a positive number, and three is a negative number. So positive number is greater than a minus number, negative number. Zero, zero is greater than a negative number. Four and three, here both numbers are having positive sign, means both are positive number. So naturally, four is bigger than three. Now here, both numbers are having minus sign. So here, minus two is bigger than minus three. On the number line, if you are moving from zero towards left hand side, zero bigger than minus one, minus one bigger than minus two, minus two bigger than minus three, minus three bigger than minus four. So means as you are moving towards the left hand side, so the previous number will be bigger than the Next number by one place. So keep in mind, minus two is bigger than minus three. Minus three is bigger than minus four. Okay, children. Hope you all have got it. Now we will move on to our next topic that is subtraction of integers. This is again a main topic. Now to subtract a number from another number. Is to add its opposite number to the other number. Now let's understand with the example. See children. Now this picture is in your textbook also. Now you all can see the first example. It is given as minus nine, minus minus four. Now what is the opposite of minus four? Plus four. Okay, children. So minus nine will remain same, and minus nine plus four. Ignore the between sign. Ignore the between minus sign. So your your number became now minus nine plus four. So as I told you further, that if two above if if among two integers, if one is having minus sign, one is having plus sign. So what you will do? Yes, you will subtract. Nine minus four is five. And the sign of the bigger number nine is bigger than four here, so nine is having the minus sign, so the answer will be minus five. 
don't get confused here okay children it's very easy if you will solve examples at home it will be easy for you now next example minus 4 minus minus 9 now the first number is minus 4 so it, it is written as same now what is the opposite of minus 9 plus 9 so minus 4 plus 9 so again here is again here 1 is plus 1 is minus so 9 minus 4 is 5 but here sign is plus 5 why because 9 is having a plus sign 9 is bigger than 4 ok children now third example plus 9 minus plus 4 now plus 9 is it will be written as same now what is the opposite of plus 4 minus 4 so plus 9 minus 4 you can ignore the second step no issue if directly you are writing plus 9 minus 4 then no issue it's ok also so 9 minus 4 this is a simple minus so answer is plus 5 now the fourth example plus 9 minus minus 4 now plus 9 will again you will write down same from the above now what is the opposite of minus 4 plus 4 so plus 9 plus 4 yeah both are plus so what you will do you will add 9 plus 4 13 and the answer will be plus 13 this rule you all have to keep in your mind don't forget the rule if two numbers are having plus sign after converting or after writing the opposite also not to subtract if both numbers are having plus sign you have to add although your operation was minus first but you will not subtract here as both numbers are having a plus sign ok children Now I have given one more example here. See. What do you do with a problem like this? Minus 5 minus 9. You could think of it, is, of it as two integers with the same sign. Yes. Remember from the addition rules. If they have the same sign. You add and keep the sign. So minus 5 minus 9 is the same as. Minus 5 plus minus 9. See I have told you previously when I was explaining you the rules. If both the numbers are having minus sign and if both the numbers are having plus sign, you have to add. So here 9 plus 5 is 14 and the answer will be minus 14. Now minus 13 minus 3 will be minus 16. Minus 12 minus 7 will be minus 19. Now I have again solved some examples here. I have taken the same numbers which I have taken for the addition. See children. Plus 2 minus plus 5. Now here I have written the second step. But here see. The plus 2 is written as same. Now what is the opposite of plus 5? Minus 5. So in the bracket I have written minus 5. So your number became plus 2 and minus 5. So your answer is minus 3. Now second example. Plus 2 minus minus 5. So plus 2. Now what is the opposite of plus minus 5 plus 5? So here it will be plus 2 plus 5. Simple answer it is plus 7. Minus 2 minus minus 5. Now opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. So minus 2 plus 5. If you are ignoring the second step then no problem. Simply you can write the next step. Means I have done here two steps. So you have to ignore your first step. If you, if you can't understand you can ignore. No issue. So simple will be minus 2 plus 5. So answer will be plus 3. Now last example. Minus 2 minus plus 5. So minus 2 and minus 5. Here both the numbers are minus. So you have to add. So answer will be minus 7. Children, I am just telling you. You make your own examples and you solve. So you will understand it very well. Okay children. See, I have shown you more, more examples you can see. Just have a look. If you want, you can take the screenshot also. Now, till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye. Take care, children.